Hello you guys, welcome back to another week in my life. I'm coming at you live from London. I'm checking off my fifth new country of the year today, which was very exciting for me because if you guys watched my first vlog of the year, then you would know that was one of my goals for 2023. So I've been to Jamaica, uh, Copenhagen, well, Denmark, uh, Sweden, Ireland, and now the United Kingdom. So yay, lucky number five. We had a short and sweet flight from Dublin to London, and then we just had about an hour and a half drive into the actual city just checked into our hotel we are staying at a best western and it is somehow already 8 p.m even with the short and sweet hour-long flights we keep getting all day travel days but that's europe for you so yeah it's just jules and i right now we're getting ready to head out to dinner gonna take it easy tonight because miss samantha souter gets here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m bright and early and we're gonna have an awesome little week here we have four nights and i'm really looking forward to it london's been a destination that I've always wanted to hit. Um, I tried to come twice when I was studying abroad and both trips got canceled. So I'm pumped even if it is going to be a rainy fall week here. So stay tuned. Only one more leg of our Europe trip after this, our Greece boat, and then we are winding down. We are at the cutest spot right now called the Summer House. It feels very American here, which I guess Jules has told me a lot of London spots will feel like. Obviously they speak English here. It's a little different, but like, I feel like I'm on the water, like in the Cape right now, for some reason. We're right outside of the, there's a river right here. Now lunch is a bigger thing here than dinner um, in all of London, but we got, we're starving because we've had a long day. We got popcorn shrimp, amazing, and the hummus with pita, which is so good too. I'm taking a liking to hummus because of Jules. I know. She ordered the hummus. I was shocked. We also got drinks. I got the spicy something and Jules got watermelon. Cheers. So good. Yeah. Guys, like I got fish and chips because that's what you get in London. Like, do you understand how big this fish and chips is? Like, look at my hand. It's gigantic. Literally gigantic. Jules got one of their other fishes. We had a lot of different options and I don't know, I was just like, I feel like I should get it the first night, you know, that's what they're known for. We are home from dinner, showered and in bed, no Virgin River tonight. If you guys have been keeping up with our um, abroad vlogs, you know that we've been watching quite a bit of Virgin River in the evenings, but I'm exhausted tonight, ready to just post my Instagram stories and head to bed. Sam will be here bright and early tomorrow morning. 9 a.m. So catch you when the naked cowgirls are all reunited. Good morning, London. Look who's here. What's Samantha Souter just Miss landed. You. And we're getting ready to head out of here and have a day. It is 11. Well, that's not going to work. All right, never mind. We're not going to set that down. It is 11 o'clock. We're getting ready to grab a croissant and then have a little bit of a touristy day. Um, I'm super pumped. Today, I actually have a big meeting with Like to Know It um, International, Like to Know It team. So I'm going to have to head back here a little bit early and have like two, three hours of work call tonight. But other than that, we should have like a pretty normal explory type of day. So... Here's what I'm wearing, the black sweater that I've been wearing for actually seven days straight now. Um, but I'm switching it up today. New skirt, um, tights, boots, all three are from Shein. Scarf H&M, thank God I bought this for $20. And then I'm spicing it up today with a little headband, you know, trying to branch out. So yeah, I'm sure it'll be cold. It's supposed to rain, so hopefully I can pick up an umbrella somewhere. But other than that, we're ready to rock and roll, ladies. We had a little bit of a morning, you guys. We got croissants, took some pics. I'll insert one here, and it was raining, so I just had to go and buy an umbrella, um, which is why I didn't pull the camera out, but it has cleared up a little bit. We're gonna be stuck in between some rain showers for the next four days, but we just had our first tube experience, and we are getting ready to see the site. The tube spit us out right by the National Gallery, which is hopping this morning. Wow, iconic. <laughs> well, my bun, this like, makes me realize how much my bun is true. 
There's 24 different stops and what's nice about the hop on hop off is that you can put in a little earbud and it will give you all the details. Unfortunately, it is outside and it is pouring rain, but you know, Jules got this lovely umbrella for 10 euros. I'm sorry, I have like no footage of our day exploring. It was pouring the entire day. It looks like we're in the main shopping area of Mayfair right now. All the high-end luxury stores are here and it's so cute out. Can you see all the crowns? Jules is so easy to spot this trip because of this umbrella. Are you escaping the rain at Hollister? You guys know I've been working with them twice a month for the last couple of months, and I'm picking up some selects in person to style for the rest of this trip. I've been like re-wearing literally the exact same clothes over and over and over again, so I'm really excited to be picking up some new things. So I'm getting this skirt right here, a little silk moment to wear with a matching long sleeve shirt and sneakers. And then I think I'm gonna get this gray coat. I just like need a jacket, and this one's really pretty, size small. And then I'm usually not a gray girl, but that's like the vibe I'm going for. Gray scarf, super cute, and then this white sweater. I just like desperately need a white oversized sweater for this. I got my Hollister goodies. I'm so excited to have something new to wear tomorrow, you guys. Um, we've just been exploring, frolicking around, and we're finally sitting down to eat something. We're at a place called the Burlington Arms, and we just got fish sticks. Super random. I don't think I've had a fish stick since I was like six years old. Um, fries and a salad as a little late lunch. Thank God I ate that croissant this morning. That wasn't even mine because we haven't eaten yet today. But yeah. Okay, I just had one of these fish sticks and I can already tell you that they're way better than yesterday's fish and chips. Um, yeah, they're much crispier. I think it's the stick form that I just like. And the sauce is great. This was phenomenal. The easiest 10 out of 10 I think I've given on this trip besides the Pakistani place. Okay, instead of taking the tube, we're not being tube girls. We're actually walking back home. It's about 40 to 45 minutes. And we're hoping that the rain like slows down a bit, but just want to walk around the Soho Mayfield area. That's where we are right now. Bunch of shopping, cute little pubs, things like that. Good vibes. I can't take myself seriously with a headband. I feel like I look sick. Like, I feel guilty that we didn't do more today and came inside um, an hour earlier than we expected. Look at my hair. Do you guys see how scary I look in person right now? I am drenched. It was just pouring rain for our 45 minute walk home. But we walked down a really cute street. It was a lot of good, good vibes, good vibes over there. But um, yeah, it's 5.30 now. I'm getting ready to submit some content for Canon. I have a collab with them this month. Um, so I'm sending that in. And then I also am hopping on that like to know it call. So let's get after it ladies. I'm gonna change though because my tights are sopping wet and I feel disgusting. Um, I'm excited today to be joined by an incredible panel of creators. And um, so these conversations are truly some of my favorites. And um, you guys are truly innovators. You're willing to test and learn all while um, remaining core and true to your strategy for creators driving that strong performance back to your brand. Trying to achieve as a company. That's me. How can wow, you guys, what an incredible opportunity that call was. I did not realize that there were 300 brands registered for this meeting. I thought that there were 30. Um, I, I'm Missed a zero. Um, just speaking on trends for next year and how Gen Z is shopping, how we're able to convert product to sales, and just I love my job. And when I'm traveling, I feel like I long to sit home and fashion create, create, create. And when I'm fashion create, create, creating, I feel like I long to travel. I'm trying to be more present with where my feet are and like getting the Hollister clothes to share while I'm on this trip is like really making me excited for things like that but just wow I'm so grateful you guys like I'm so 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 grateful to be doing okay we're at another pub um this one's literally right outside of our hotel I think it's called 
It's called like Elm, Elm Mike's. Oh, like it starts with an M. It's literally 9.54 when we're sitting down for dinner, you guys. Like it's dinner time in America. Right now it's five o'clock at dinner. I, oh. I eat three to four meals a day. When we are with Jill's conference, she eats about one. So like I packed like 10 protein, protein bars, bars in my backpack just in case. And like they didn't make, they didn't make it today. So we got a good meal though. We can do it. We're excited. The food looks amazing and people are playing games here. It's very lively with locals, which we love. Okay, so we were starving. We went to the pub right down the street. We both got veggie burgers. Mackenzie, did you get regular burger? I got real burger. They got veggies. I don't know why I got... <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. That's like... <laughs> like the fourth room to keep you lost this trip. It's day two. Dinner was good. I texted Phil and I said, oh. My burger was nothing exceptional, but it wasn't bad either. I really liked the spot we were at though. I wish I would have had a drink and like played a board game or something. But we were exhausted. We went we in like go again before we leave at the time, which I know we don't be too late today, but <laughs> we went in um like right before closing, which was a bummer, but anyways, I just showered, put on uh, some PJs and now I'm laying down. I'm sleeping on the sofa bed tonight while Jules and Sam sleep over there. Um Guys, it's the first time I haven't had to sleep in the middle, ever. Because Mackenzie volunteered his tribute. Good morning, everybody! Good morning, London! It's Thursday, and it is 10.30 a.m. right now. Woke up at 9, but I actually just had a call with our... Skipper! Skipper for Greece. So, Greece has just been quite the experience. As you guys know, originally Sam and I were supposed to be on a 10-day trip with Bus to Alps. Then that got canceled. Then I got the opportunity to sail on a private yacht charter um, that sleeps 12 people. And I was super stoked for that. It was supposed to be Jules, Ashley, Sam and I. And then Jules decided she's not coming. And then Ashley decided that she's too sick to come. And so now it's just going to be Sam and I. Woo! But woo! We're ready! If anyone's gonna experience this type of thing, it would be us. Like we're just that kind of best friend duo. So we're pumped. I had a meeting with him this morning to just kind of go through the details of where we're sailing, um, docking, food, land, water, drone, all that type of stuff. So we're getting excited for that. The thing about traveling Europe for 30 days, guys, is that when you are in these destinations, you do have to plan uh the details of the next destination that's coming while you're you know like on the move so that part gets kind of agonizing but it's okay so yeah anyways um we're about to head out of here and explore i'm wearing a white bodysuit from hollister my new gray scarf from hollister i'm wearing this gen i'm wearing this denim skirt from white fox boutique and then my dolce vita xena sneakers which you guys i think i'm gonna have to toss these after this europe trip because they are getting so worn like do you see this Oh my god, they're like literally ready to fall apart. Um, but you know, that's the sign of good wear and tear. And I'm gonna throw on this jacket. Ready to rumble, ladies and gents. We have an iconic phone booth right outside of our hotel. So we're taking some pictures outside of here right now. Everybody is dolled up in very different attire, but we're making we're making it happen. Alright, video. So we just had like an hour and a half content session downstairs at that photo booth like everybody got pictures we got duos pictures we got tiktoks We're trying to be more creative i think we did a really great job so i'm proud of us guys i'm proud of us naked cowgirls i've been like in spo hunting for this trip for a while like i made like a tab and everything she's on her grind <laughs> and we actually while we were shooting pictures found out that we got a collab for afternoon tea so we're getting ready to head out and over there originally we were going to spend 95 dollars each to go to the ritz <laughs> And do it, but and Jules like, we're gonna is like iconic. Out. So one thing about Jules is she's the manager of the group, and I can for get sure. us almost everything for free. She's the manager, but Mackenzie is the officiant. So there's what am I? Wait, she, officiant. She's the fun. The officiant the is fun. someone that's like, like I'm like I let's do this, this, and this, and then Jules is the one that's like. Oh, guys, we need someone to bring. All right, the this is what I'm wearing. Full Hollister. So I got to film a TikTok for them. Um, I love it. Love the little ground gray. I've got the sweater over the shoulders. Yeah, it does it's, look it's, good. It's actually, actually kind of warm out right now, so I'm not gonna wear the jacket, which I'm hoping I. I won't regret but girls are walking to tea it was either 
40 minute tube ride or 50 minute walk so we decided to walk and see the sights and we're walking towards well we're walking through Kensington Park right now and it's gorgeous a lot of people have asked like we thought we were having a European fall no foliage anywhere we've been still fully green here so kind of a bummer but oh well We should have tubed, you guys. This walk has been entirely too long. I, I would say it's been too long. It literally keeps randomly raining here. Like, it'll be fully sunny and then it'll pour for five minutes and then be sunny and then pour and then be sunny and then pour. So if you are in London, do not come without an umbrella. We made it, how freaking cute. We're doing afternoon tea at a place called Peggy Portion, which is super popular here in London. It's all pink, so, so, so cute. We're doing finger sandwiches. We've got sweets, scones, and tea. I'm not usually a tea drinker, but like when a teacup is that cute, I'm like, wow, I'm gonna become a tea drinker. And it's adorable in here. They've got like pink decor everywhere. These are scones, pastries, finger sandwiches down here. Jules has got pescatarian version. We've got one that's got a little bit of everything on it. This one's truffle, lox, amazing, wow. You guys, such a fun experience. I'm not a huge tea drinker, so I've just been like tasting mine. But the girls loved their teas. The sandwiches were really good. I thought that the scones were amazing. And then the little like cakes that they had, we did the seasonal menu. So like the little pumpkin bread was so good. But the macaroon was my favorite thing of anything. Definitely suggest that this place is super popular, but it's actually been pretty quiet, which has been really nice. So Thursday afternoon, perfect time for tea. We're in Chelsea right now. That's where the tea time place was and there's so many good stores over here doing a little bit of shopping on our way back to the London Eye so cute this anthropology is literally so iconic oh my gosh everything is so cute all I want for Christmas is an unlimited shopping spree at anthropology in their home section Wow None of us are huge shoppers since we get sent so much stuff, but this anthropology, you have to go in. It was amazing, wow. Going to the homeland. Brandy Melville is like my favorite place to shop when I'm abroad. As you guys know, I know we obviously have them in America, but there's just nowhere like it. This Brandy Melville is so good. Like there's so much in it. I feel like every time I come here, I end up buying another pair of these shorts. I wear them for like four days to bed. They're the best. Came to King Street in Chelsea to do some shopping. We've been told this is where all the good spots are. We've got a lot of spots that we do have in America. Um, London is a lot like New York City, so Jules has been telling me, but a lot of other cute spots as well. So just gonna be walking, shopping, and exploring. We found this street in London, like right off the main King Street shopping, and it literally looks just like Rainbow Row in Charleston. And ironic that the shopping is King Street here and in Charleston. I don't know where the day has gone, but it is seven o'clock. We embarked on a three and a half mile walk from Chelsea over through the Kensington area over to a spot called the Little Yellow Door that one of my subscribers actually recommended to me. She's studying abroad here right now and said that it was a super cute spot that a lot of people go to around here like a lot of previous study abroad students gave this rec to her so i'm excited we got out of tea kind of late so we didn't have time to go into any of the museums or like uh touristy things today so we scheduled them all out for tomorrow and decided that we would just explore so we've been going in and out of shops and taking pictures looking at things wow look at how cute that is so cute. Wow. such a cute little pub yeah, we're in the Kensington area right now, and this area is supposed to be more like trendy. Guys, I can't stop yawning. I've been up since three. Thursday. This was what Sam bought from Brandy Melville. We got matching pajamas, and she bought this. I thought it was worth cute. it. Cute. We screwed up, guys, because where we are right now is literally so cute. There's so many vintage and antique stores near us, but everything is closed. They close at like seven here, so we're trying to find postcards and then headed to dinner. Look how vibey it is here, guys. This is like a million dollar mansion that they've turned into like a casual cocktail bar. And they've got the most amazing menu. This is so me. This drink tastes like I'm texting you later. They've got all kinds of cocktails. I just got a 51st Dates. We've got Sex in the Cities coming, all kinds of fun drinks. And they do tapas. 
I'm so excited. They've got games everywhere. There's people dancing, like a very casual, seated vibe. We've got an interesting assortment of things. Pea quinoa balls, zucchini fries. I'm not usually a zucchini girl, so I'm excited to try. And then a mix of pesto, hummus, pitas. Wow, that's good. Another round for Jules and I. I got what Sam got. The way that I'm already done with it. And <laughs> Jules got a like Sex in the City. It was really good, but like I swear it's more ice than drink. Alright, Jules got some tacos. Sam got a burger. I got some chicken. <laughs> Good vibes at the place we went tonight, you guys. It was cool. It was pretty like lively for a Thursday night. I would imagine that on the weekends it gets quite busy there, especially because they have $5 margarita happy hour from 5 to 8 p.m. Wednesday through Friday. But um, food was good. We're home now, getting ready to shower and everybody head to bed. We've got busy days ahead of us. Um, tomorrow we're gonna try to hit the gardens, we're gonna try to do a city cruise and then ride the London Eye. So, tomorrow's the get her done type of day. So, catch you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I've put on the exact same outfit I was wearing yesterday um, because I wanna get a cuter photo in this full body. Uh, I got some pictures of it like in our day to day yesterday. I really wanna like shoot this outfit style over by the London Eye. And then I'm gonna change into, I'm gonna put the sweater on and I'm gonna put my trousers on and then, you know, have a different outfit for the second half of the day. So that's the plan. Top of the morning, everybody. Just got a croissant, got my postcards, and we're getting after it. You know the vibe. Okay, we just shot looks and we decided today in order to make the most of our time that we were going to Uber, cab, taxi, uh, take the tram, like literally not walk. Sam walked 30,000 steps yesterday. No, let me tell you, it was more than that. It was it was almost 3333, three, 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 but it was it was more than that. It was like 33,367 30, 30, steps. steps Which is 16 miles, over a half marathon Sam walked Like I just like how, like I just, oh my God. I woke up, my legs were so sore. Like I went up the stairs and I was just like, why did I, I can't do this again. So one thing about this friend group is that we are walkers and that and works fine, in a lot of, yeah, city. we got to see a lot but it works um, in a lot of cities but London is so spread out that if you walk at, from place to place it's like you spend your whole day walking and not like doing so today we were like we're not doing that so we're cabbing over to get on a city river cruise right now okay we've made it down towards the river of course today they're having only one-way boat tours so we're really hoping that we're gonna be able to do both of these and still make it to our garden TikTok's down and one of us Nana, starts to sing Nana, it in the entire Nana, room Nana. we'll sing it for the duration of the trip and I just knew that. Alright, do you want to see what we're working on guys? This is a no entry. We're so stupid. Like, we can't do it. This group can't do anything right on this trip. Like, I can't. Alright, this is our TikTok. Because it's not done yet. No, 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 no. You are the music game, are the music, yeah. You know the word once upon a time. We're doing good. We've never done a group TikTok of the three of us. All right, we just scanned our Ghost City Passes. If you've never had a Ghost City Pass, it's literally life-changing if you're in a city like this. Just everything, you just use this QR code and then you can do everything basically all included. I mean, obviously you pay for the pass, but it ends up being so much cheaper. And we're getting on city cruises. So we do river cruises in a lot of cities that we go to and some of them can be really hit, some of them can be really missed. This one's huge, like you can get a drink on here, there's a bathroom on here, there's tons of seats so everyone can have their own row and be in front of the window. The lighting's amazing, it's heated, Yeah, I it's a great way to get out of the rain, get warm, like. I was just gonna say on my vlog, like because of time restraints, we weren't sure if we were gonna do one night or this and I'm already glad that we did this instead. Yeah. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be like in the talking about anything, but it's like I didn't think we were gonna be able to get this close to London Eye and like see things I at this angle. Usually, like you put in the headphone and they'll tell you like historically like about where we're yeah. going past and things like that. But look, how cute is that pub? There's only oh a floating God. pub. A lovely view of St. Portal. 
If you look just above the dome, it's very busy right now, I believe. Even though there's ain't playing tricks on me. Uh, there's an observation deck above the dome. Hey guys, that's the highest observation out, point in all, all of Europe, and it's free. It's what? That's crazy. Add that to your London place. list. Instead of walking 33,000 steps. Okay, we just got off of our little city river cruise experience. It was the fastest 40 minutes. Um, it keeps going to Greenwich, which is like super far outside of the city. We got off at the city tower. But yeah, we're just walking around exploring and then tubing over to the palace. I can't believe how big London is. Like, I just can't. Another tube ride. I just got potato chips. I'm starving. Tube girl. Tube girl. I my on the Anytime we successfully take public transportation, it feels like another win. Okay, we've made it to Kensington Palace and we're a little early for our reservation so we are walking around the garden greens area and they have this little pond that has so many swans and birds and just like so much is going on literally great photo spot so cool i can't see so 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 cool jules is like in heaven Okay, Kensington Palace was a public palace and private home for more than 300 years to so these people. In case you were wondering, Princess Diana lived here, that's crazy. I didn't realize, but this museum is like very heavily fashion based about what they wore on the red carpets throughout the years. I guess the red carpet like originated here. Like a toilet grooming, grooming kit. Like, this imagine, is how they trimmed imagine themselves. Imagine this on Phil's. <laughs> how cool. It's giving Venice in here. How? Like George I created this room for large court gatherings. Only the finest craftsmanship and most sumptuous skills would ensure like you caught the king's attention amongst the crowds of guests. Like I can't. And Sam's wearing jeans in here. <laughs> and a t-shirt with a bowling ball. <laughs> kind of ring goo. Like I really, I mean, I didn't know that. Oh. This whole exhibit is about the red carpet and how it's Billie the most Ella influential stage. The Met Gala. Like the red what? carpet, the, the red carpet originated here. Isn't it crazy? Just got done with Kensington Palace. Very cool. They had tons of old Met Gala looks. We got to walk through all of the Queen's like old rooms, dining room. We weren't really supposed to film in there so I don't have a ton of footage, but very cool. Yeah, now we're just sitting by the swans for a little bit. The sun finally came out for like the first time this entire trip, so we're loving it. Oh my god. I'm running on E today, you guys. My portable charger's dead, my camera is flashing, my Jules phone is flashing, dead. Jules' phone's dead. Like, guys. We're shopping around Soho right now, even though like literally nobody can buy anything <laughs> because all of our luggage is overweight. Sam came here in a carry on. But it's so pretty over here. I really like London. People say you either love it or hate it or that you're a Paris girl or a London girl. I'm a Paris girl. I, as a whole, think I like London more, but I've, I had more fun in, on our trip to Paris. So she likes Paris. Not more. that I'm having a, a, not a good time here, but just, you know what I'm saying. It's so different also when you have like a home base, like somewhere, like obviously you guys know that I had a home base in Paris and then I just felt such a different level of ease when I had that. Yeah. Like, being in Europe without a home base for 20, Two days. It's, it's a lot, difficult. but it's fun. We're having, <laughs> we're having so much fun. We're having a great time. Jules is flying home tomorrow. Sam yeah. and I are flying to Athens for a week on the boat. And I can't believe that Europe trip is almost over, and I still haven't posted one single vlog from it. I'm sorry, you guys, but it was a brief intermission, and so I'm hoping you guys don't hate me after this. But I love you. We've been doing so much. You're gonna have so much fun watching. Yeah, we've been going 100 miles a minute. There's lots to keep up with, but I love you guys. It's been awesome. We're walking over to a little pub now um, that we got recommended from. I don't even know, but we're going, and it should be fun. Ready to sit down.
happy hour reservations at one spot and dinner reservations at the other and they're 200 feet from each other which is iconic. Spay Bar is where dinner is. But first we're going to happy hour. <laughs> but when Jewel's phone is dead, all she does is go around and ask everybody else if she can borrow their phone to take a picture. She's like, pink car, give me your phone. <laughs> All right, take my picture like this. <laughs> <laughs> you're done, you're done. Just walked in, it's so cool here. It's like a, giving me like speakeasy mixology vibes. And Did you see this says mixologist up there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fox, Society of Exploration. Look at how chic. Yum. We just got our drinks and they look amazing. We got the feta stuffed peppers too, which is so not usually my vibe, but it was amazing. Sam's getting some pics. So cute. Great vibes down here. I'm about to ask for a pen and paper because I'm in the mood. Okay, we've moved over to our next spot, Spay. The girls got a bottle of wine. I got a little rosé drink because I wanted something sweeter. Got some food on the table. Scallops, fritters, and crab toast. We just had the grilled cheese and it was literally amazing so we're excited to dig in cheese board not a fan of are you gonna miss us so much well that's a wrap for our 20 day european adventure together it feels like we just got together i literally can't believe it's been three weeks but love you jules is trying to convince me to come to new york city for a holiday weekend so mwah, 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 mwah. goodbye miss piggy <laughs> I love you, baby.